Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue 100% here on the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. My name is Moose, and hope you're having a wonderful evening today. In the last episode, the zoo went absolutely crazy. We went on a little field trip. Mega Man nearly blew up, and now we're going to try and go save the zoo, even though I kind of really don't want to because Chisau's in danger and he's about to get smoked by a giant pelican. Ah, ah, looking. Um,. But if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check out the description if you want to watch the whole Let's Play. There's a link down below with a playlist. And there's also the other playlist for, like, Battle Network 3, Bug Style only we did. And then Mega Man Battle Network 5, which we just completed. We just got smacked by the Pelican, so I'm about to clap back real quick. Um, so, yeah. Also, down there is a link to the Discord where I'm currently live streaming um, my recording session. So, you guys can come in and watch live. Um... So yeah, you guys can come watch live, we can chit-chat, do some stuff, hang out, and everything else while we just play some games and do the Mountain Dew. Alright. So this is where the zookeeper tells us that the guy who runs the place is all like, meow, 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 and then takes over some stuff, so now we've got to go back in here. So we've got to go back over here, and then we're going to go to the front where we're going to go to the lion's den. Uh, well, it's actually the panda area because the panda is vibing right now. So, by the way, land is standing in the middle of a bunch of animals that now we're just net operating battling thing here. Not worrying about the lions anymore. And because this is now a boss dungeon, as promised, as I do and everything, Buster Max mode is off. So, Mega Man does have a bug attached to him right now. Uh, I think it's just the Buster bug where we can have a misfire, which is kind of fine. Actually, I think I'm also going to go ahead and I think because the more bugs we have, more points we get so your boy's gonna go ahead and do this real quick so now we'll have some more bugs uh and we'll kind of see what we do which is fine the more bugs is okay it will give us some points while we net battle and do some stuff anyways i'm not too concerned but the more points usually the better um there's a hidden point value that you guys don't see i kind of mentioned that but sometimes you never really know where someone's gonna tune into a let's play so sometimes you just gotta do the do you know Oh, yeah, we got the misfires, baby. So, pretty much, we're going to be playing this uh, on hard mode uh, until we get bug style. Because our buster is going to be guaranteed to be inoperable. So, we've got a cat. Meow, meow. Uh, and then we've got a woof, woof. we got a dog with a horror. You know what I'm saying? It's got the dog in him. So, squeak, squeak. It's a mouse like virus. Which means we have to go back here. And then we're going to have to go pick up the data for the Mr. Frog that's a cat. It's kind of like you match the thing and then the thing go boom. Um, it's kind of like the idea right now of this. I want to get a counter hit in, which is very nice for me. And then I'm going to wait for Slumdog Millionaire over here. Uh, oh, right. I forgot to put the program advance in. Which, once I do get the program advance, I'll probably wind up taking it out depending because the the mixed bag of chips is kind of annoying and then i have to get ready to do the next program advance and everything else we need for the the star run so it, it's all good and then we're gonna grab this one which is the blue mystery data we got get on get on uh i think there's another data up here no it's just a random thing but we want the cat anyways and the cat's located down here and we're gonna run to another virus because this game sucks Alrighty, we're gonna grab you, and we're gonna grab you, and then we're gonna send it right down the turnpike, baby. Smoked! So that will get us a nice book frag, and then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna grab the meow meow! Oh, I, I meant to take it. I forgot I got to confirm on it. And we're going to go back. So now that we'll go back, and then once we kind of do, like, the matching, where it's like cat eats the mouse sort of thing. Meow, squeak! You know, whatever you need to do. And we're going to go forward here. Too bad we don't have Catboy Mega Man anymore, but if you want to go see Catboy Mega Man, our base cross Let's Play is available at any time located down below in the description as I run into another virus. And I'm going, oh my god, I hate ratties. I think, honestly, I'm just going to box myself in here. Because now it can't hit me. And then I'm going to try to electrocute this little guy. I think he needs to send out a rat first. Boom. Ahaha. Ahaha. 
equal Raton F, my favorite battle chip, he says sarcastically. Ribbit, frog is blocking the way. Maybe we can buy something that it hates. So what does a frog hate? There's an eel. I don't think it hates eels, but I do love blue mystery datas. HP memory up, because we're going to crank that. We're already at 240 HP, which is kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. Could be higher, could be lower, but it's all good. going to grab these. Alrighty, just zipping on through everything like a little cowboy. This snake, I always forget, I think it's a mongoose or a snake. I'm pretty sure it's a snake. There we go, it's a snake. I know there's a mongoose one later on that I need to remember. Alright, there's Beast Man's little footprints over there. Mild spoilers, looks like a rabbit. I love rabbits. Uh, it looks like a rabble block away. Seems lonely. Well, guess what? I'm lonely too. I meant to take it. And we're going to go over here. And then the rabbits are going to hang out. And they're going to move. A blue mystery data suffice that charge one needs. Excellent. That is very nice. So eventually we'll probably. I, I don't really know what I'll. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Let me go ahead and bug it too. So now we'll have three bugs. It's the rebug sounds like a great idea. If you're wondering why it's causing a bug, it's because it's touching uh, another pink, which is not supposed to. So now we have three bugs. We're going to go crazy brazy. Um, we're going to get lots of hidden points towards our bug style. So the grind will be even more easy than me just going buster max mode and sitting in like a... The... Uh, what's the... Uh, sitting in the doghouse. There we go. Longsword L, my brother, how I love thee. So, if you're wondering why I'm popping off right now, Longsword L is our final piece that we need to make uh, the program advance. Uh, and I'm going to have to replace. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think what we do is that. We're going to bring that, and then we're going to go back to the S chip. Mm, yeah, we're going to bring Zap Ring back in. There we go. I want two zap rings for more for more paralyzation. But eventually, these swords might come S chips later on. Is what my goal is. What my fingers are crossed for is to get the S chip variants of these actually because they synergize a little bit better than L. But we'll see how it goes from here. So we've got all these going on. Uh, boomer team. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, so we need a Q spreader here soon for a program advance for hyper burst. No problem, just kind of checking what I have. All right, I've checked what I have. Now we have two program advances potentially inside of our folder, which is super nice. There's a coconut program. Ogooga, all right, there's a gorilla that's blocking the way. He looks he looks strange, maybe he's hungry. But what is a banana nana nana? Well, a gorilla eats bananas, I hope. I know there's like a monkey with a peanut later. It exploded because it was so happy. I explode too when I'm happy. Call me kaboom. So we're gonna go over here now, and then we're gonna zip, 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 and we're gonna grab another blue mystery. Data. There's a lot of blue mystery datas in this comp, by the way. So make sure when you guys play through it, you get your blue mystery datas, because or else you're gonna regret it. You're gonna be sad, and then I'm I'm not gonna help you because I don't. Alright, homie's just. Oh, so here's a new bug that happens. Um. So because I have like three bugs, I now have just shield whenever I hit B. I want to see if I can counter it. Hang on. Okay, I guess I gotta like preemptively. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. So we put so many bugs in on Mega Man that it eventually just became good. That's that's unironically pretty cool. I know we just took a crap ton of damage then, that's actually probably really dumb, but it's fine. Uh, he looks a little bit bored. I think he needs a ball, if I'm not mistaken. So we grabbed the ball, and then we're gonna make him play with his ball. And he exploded because he was so happy. Clam is blocking the way. What should we do? So this one here is a little interesting here. It's an otter type program. So if you guys don't know much about marine, is it an otter marine biology? I don't really know. But otters tend to play with rocks and clams, and they like to smash them so they can eat their food. So if you give a... Uh, and otters tend to think that rocks are just clams, so they just 
beat the hell out of them pretty much huge tree like virus it won't budge an inch so if you guys are also unfamiliar with insect stuff it's a beetle type program and the beetle type programs especially there's a there's actually kind of an outbreak here where a bunch of like insects from japan like beetles and stuff um commonly be wait no is it not beetle what the hell was it well there's a type of beetle that destroys trees but this is a beaver and the beaver eats the tree look at that I hit you guys with two pieces of information I didn't even mean to hit you with. I don't know why I was so hell-bent on it being a beetle. Because I know in Japan, there's a lot of, like, there's a high popu high density of, like, tree-eating beetles. Two pandas look like viruses are blocking the way. One of them looks hungry, and the other one looks bored. All right. I need bamboo and something else. And I think it's a tire, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, sure. All right, punk, do something. So this chip actually gets better Later on, instead of it just being a wide sword, it actually becomes a... What happens if I fully charge it? Okay, it actually charges. A shield, shield, shield. Um, there's a code I can put in at Higsby's, which will get me... Ah, crap, baskets. Ow. I have my own guard, which is actually kind of funny. That was kind of silly. That took too long, but it's fine. Alrighty, so Russell, it's a bamboo, which we take, and then there's a tire. Raw meat. There we go. Pretty sure it's the tire and the bamboo. Sneak run. That's pretty cool. Right. So sneak run allows us to just zip past things. Uh. Can I even squeeze it in right now, you think? What the odds you think I can squeeze in? Let's see if I can get sneak run in here. can touch this for a bug and I can put you on here there we go there we go we have still created a good amount of bugs while adding sneak run which is nice okay so we go over here sneak run should keep the weaker viruses out I just kind of want to go through this a little bit uh I will have enough points don't worry there there'll still be a a point of where I, I grind and get all the other customizations I need to get for uh what you would call it. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, stay in love, stay in love, ah uh, ah uh. Oh I movement bug now. Crap. The dreaded one has returned. So now I have movement bug because I have sneak in there. I accidentally just walked into that, we don't talk about it. Uh Okay. That's my bad. I play kind of silly. Oh, longsword eye. Interesting. Snake type. I think this is the mongoose one. Uh it's a cobra. It's like Viper and uh Zangoose. Yeah, it's a cobra. So, like, if you played Pokemon in the third generation, like Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire, or Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, um, Zangoose and Viper are, like, enemies because the Mongoose and a Viper. The heavy jar, it looks a little unsatisfying. I think it's an octopus. I think this is an octopus. It's an octopus. Mr. Squidward? Squidward? Word. Have you guys seen those AI songs now? Have you seen like Plankton? That's been like all of my TikTok feed is like Plankton just absolutely busting along. Just singing like Shine, Shine, bro. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Correct. Plankton was the greatest thing that ever happened to cinema, if I'm being honest with you. I think I should grab the yo-yo. 
That's so unfortunate. Well, guess you forgot he had movement bug. This guy, again, unironically. All these LPs later. I walked into it. What a dummy. He's a dummy because he walked into it. What a dummy. Dummy. All right. Monkey virus is chomping on a peanut like virus. They won't budge. What can we do? Okay. Oh, HP 100. All oh, right. I have to identify the parrot first. So there's a parrot here. Um, and then we get it to blow up by giving it, uh, uh, tongue twisters. There we go. It wasn't that hard to board. I'm just dumb. So get me this time, guys. got me that time. Oh my. Yeah, I hate these stupid things. Come on. What an absolute monstrosity of a virus that was. All right, then we're going to go over here, and then we're going to go get it a tongue twister program. Uh, so it's monkey and peanuts are the next one. So the parrot explodes because the tongue twister's hard. And then we're going to go over here. So it's a chestnut program. I think it's chestnut and walnut, right? Yeah, it's chestnut and walnut. You get, like, all three nuts, and then it... <laughs> Never mind not say what I was going to say. There we go. Over here. Yeah. I'm going to go this direction because I'm pretty sure it's a blue mystery data. Ooh, spiky twos. Exciting. Yeah, another good thing about Sneak Run is it guarantees some higher level viruses pretty much um which is nice because you can get high end battle higher end battle chips not like high end battle chips but higher end battle chips you know what i'm saying nice make it easy for me easy for ends 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 all right there we go Hammer T, baby. Hammer down. Call me Reinhardt. All right. Going over here. Let's see. Cat, lion, wolf, lamb, fox, dog. Okay. So, cat, lion, wolf, lamb. Okay. Perfect. We're going to go over hat. Oh, God. The one thing that does suck. I'm pretty sure since it's a higher level enemy. Um, like a higher threat, we can't guarantee to run from it. So if we run into a ratty, it's going to be annoying. All right, so we take the dog. I, I, I forget if it needs to be in order. I don't think so. Wait, no. This is already a cat. We need the tiger. My bad. Cat, lion. Okay, so we need the dog. It's dog, tiger, something else. Dog. Tiger's like over here. That's a lion. Tiger. 
I think it's a ram is the last one. Pheasant. No. Ah, sheep. I like how it was wool instead of ram. There we go. So they get all happy and explode. Just like me, IRL. I explode when I'm happy. And we're going to save here. We have no health going into this. And we have movement bug. And I guarantee we're dead. Let's go. Meow. It's, it's, it's cat man. It's cat man. My goodness. It's a cat, everyone. How cute. It's a cat. It's beast man. This is beast man. Uh, his first fight isn't too bad. I don't think we have the greatest chips. Plus movement bugs kind of crap. Probably should have changed that. But oh well. Bob's your uncle, I guess. That's problematic. And now we make it unproblematic. Ah, movement bug. Pretty sure we're dead here. Oh yeah, we are screwed. Okay, so didn't have enough health, plus movement bug is a big issue. Oh, we got the good punk kid, actually. Oh. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, that had a program advance. No, it's fine. Guarantees me get out of here. All right, so never mind. Uh, we just got absolutely lucky and just smoked Beast Man. Uh, that was 100% luck. No skill. Um, we got the good punk, which does the, the, the swishy swashy, and that hits for... It hits, hits good damage. Good good damage. Much, much bueno, mucho mwah. Um, so anyways, that's Beast Man. He just got Sima smoked. Uh, Lamau. And then now we can go rescue Chizo, which is the worst part about this game. Also, I think it just quacked. Apparently, uh, Condor's quack. Condor's quack? I don't remember. Ha. Huh. Ah. So Dex is going to give us all the recognition that we're the number one net battler in ACDC town because Chiso is like, I love you, big brother. And Land's like, no, it's me, and pulls the blicky out. So, anyways, um, Dex kind of like a loser. He's going to get ready to move and everything. Like, kind of things in his life are changing because of his brother and everything. Uh, and then now he's chasing a midget, which is kind of funny. Funny, haha, -ha, chase the midget, haha. -ha. Um, and then we're going to see Captain Raisin Head. What's up? What's up, my milk dud? Cybergeddon. Cool. Homie's wheezing. Homie's wheezing, for real, for real. It's like me on God. Asthma gang. I don't have asthma. So now we're back in school a month later. And then, so now we're talking about compression which won't play a part in this terribly awful, wonderful experience of another scenario that I know everyone's looking forward to because gee golly, we're willikers me. I sure do love this next scenario. It makes me real happy the way I'm clicking my heels right now, how excited I am about this next upcoming event that I totally wish that was not in existence of thing whatsoever accidentally skip we're gonna hang out with our friends i'm gonna save wrap up this episode grab some water take off this hoodie and i'll see you guys all in the next episode remember i was connected ah!